Yeah, hi, Ben. Well, according to the State Department of Labor, the Connecticut economy is heading in the right direction. The unemployment rate was down, filings were down, while a lot of jobs were added. Still, there are a lot of questions as to when, what time is the right time to pull the plug on this federal bonus to unemployment, which has been a critical lifeline for some people. According to the State Department of Labor, 125,000 Connecticut residents have lost their extra $300 a week. I think people need to go back to work. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about giving them $300. I mean, to me, that wouldn't, wouldn't help the situation overall. I think they should extend it. It's, I think the pandemic is still going on. There's a lot less people in restaurants. But Billy Grant, the owner of Brico in West Hartford, told Fox 61 that's not true. Restaurants are packed with customers. What they don't have are employees. There's a huge problem right now in our industry, and I think everywhere, that people aren't coming back to work. To incentivize employment, the state is giving anyone who comes off long-term unemployment and holds a new job for eight weeks a $1,000 bonus. The other issue is how about the people who did work all through that time? I have some cooks that work for me the whole time through COVID and sacrifice themselves doing takeout and all that stuff, and now we're paying people just to apply to go back to work. Congress extended the unemployment bonus twice already. Its expiration comes on the heels of a disappointing August jobs report, with the United States only adding 235,000 new jobs out of an expected 750,000. Signs of the Delta variant's impact on the economy. I think that people need to live. They need to survive. They need to pay their bills. They can barely pay their rents. Um, you know, we're seeing the moratorium sending, and it's, it's scary times right now. Now, President Biden did say that states could use the federal unemployment uh, money, some extra money, in order to uh, incentivize hiring. But Governor Ned Lamont said that he is not inclined to do that. We're live in Wethersfield. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.